Now at 10.30 and only on 5, a man severely burned in a fiery crash makes an historic recovery thanks to a life-changing transplant only a few others have ever received. Robert Chelsea has had many challenges in the decades since the crash that almost killed him. Now he's doing much better thanks to several delicate surgeries that gave him a second chance at life. Rick Chambers is live in Paramount with the story you'll only see on 5. Rick. Yeah, Pedro, the last time we saw Robert, he had just had his historic surgery and his face was all swollen. Now he's sporting a beard and has regained at least a little bit of muscle strength to his lips. And he's taken on a whole new role now in his day-to-day -day life. The face uh, feels fine. When I look in the mirror, I see another person, no doubt about that. It will be four years this month since Robert Chelsea got a face transplant and he is still shocked by his own reflection. I know it's me, but I'm looking at another person. In 2013, Robert's car was hit by a drunk driver and the ensuing fire left him burned and disfigured. In 2019, at age 68, he became the oldest face transplant recipient and the first African-American. And because organ donations are extremely low in the black community, he's aware of just how lucky he is to get of all things, a face. Because I'm black, I happen to have to have a black face. So I'm very, very fortunate. But somebody needs a kidney or a liver or a lung, it wouldn't matter. So Robert has made it his mission now to raise awareness of organ donations and to advocate for the disabled. In fact, he goes to schools each month to... Encourage the children not to tease their, their, their fellow peers because they don't walk the same, they don't look the same, talk the same. So appreciate your friends for who they are, not for how they uh, appear to be. This is how Robert appeared before the accident, then after he was burned, and how he looks today. He takes more than a dozen medications each day, though, enough to fill a suitcase, and says that he really doesn't know what normal is anymore. But. He has supportive friends and family around him and a very, very deep faith. And he's confident that he'll be able to handle any new challenge that comes his way. As a hipster say, it's all good. Now, Robert tells me that he has requested a meeting with the donor's family. He's still waiting to hear on that. He also says that after insurance, he spends about $5,500 a month on medical bills. If you think you can help him with that, I know it'd be appreciated. We have a link to his GoFundMe page at our website, ktla.com. In Paramount, I'm Rick Chambers. Guys, I'll throw it back to you in the studio. It's one of those stories we all take for granted looking in the mirror. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you watch what he's going through. If there's any way you can help out, uh, please do. Yeah, inspirational for sure. Rick, thank you so much for bringing his story to us.